to calculate the derivative using implicit difference, differentiation, we're going to have to find the derivative of this equation with respect to w and then do it again with respect to z. So to start off, we're going to do f of z, which is a derivative of this equation with respect to z. Therefore, we only consider these two. So we're going to do the first times the derivative of the second minus the second times the derivative of the first will make w zero since we're not solving for the derivative of w. Similarly, we're going to have the first times the derivative of the second minus the second times the derivative of the first, which is also zero. So it's going to be 2cw, this cancels out, this cancels out, plus 2y. Then we're going to repeat the process with f of w. So we're going to look at this one, this one, and this one. We're going to have first times the derivative of the second minus the second times the derivative of the first plus the derivative of w raised to the eighth. And then we're going to have, again, first times the derivative of the second minus the second times the derivative of the first. So this cancels out, this cancels out, and this cancels out. Wait, sorry, this becomes one. So then we're gonna have x squared, or x to the eight, plus eight w to the seventh power, minus z squared. So now that we have these two equations, we can plug it in into this. So we're going to have 2zw plus 2y over x to the 8th power plus 8w 7th power minus z squared. And this is our final answer.